hunt for the elusive Macklemore finally comes to an end tonight on my CD. You're tuned in to another brand new episode of My Scene TV. You know, we're your conduit to all things new, exciting, and tasty in Baton Rouge and beyond. We're going to take a trip to Cabo Heights, to Tradici Bakery, to try out their macaron creations. I've been waiting years for this, and I'm going to try one for the first time on this show today. Then we're going to go to Dallas for that Ty Lawson to interview up and coming R&B act. Steven Marcel, we're going to come right back on the Baton Rouge with Lily Lewis to learn what exactly her project is. You definitely want to stay tuned for that. But to start things off, we're going to learn about a more unique spin on an already rather unconventional style of art, the Pelican Capitals. This is my CNTV. He's Javon H. from My Scene TV, and I'm going to show you a very special kind of art. His name is Ian Vandenberg, but I'm sure you're already familiar with his work on the internet. The name? Pelican Capworks. I caught up with him to learn more about his unique style of art. He says Pelican Capworks started in 2010 when I had this idea to create something with all these Abita beer bottle caps. I've always been artistic and needed a creative outlet and I had a bunch of bottle caps that I was saving up. With Louisiana on the mind, he got the idea to make a pelican something he loves out of Abita beer caps, his favorite beer, using the 14 different colors that they had at the time. He adds, I spent a couple of months flattening all the caps I had with a hammer one by one and started laying them out. I quickly realized that the couple hundred caps that I had collected over the years was not nearly enough to really make anything. That's when a New Orleans native reached out to the Abita Brewery for more caps. They gave him hundreds as well as nearby bars in which he was able to complete his first piece. This would kickstart a close relationship between Vandenberg and the Abita Brewery in ways including mirror frames for the restrooms. About the piece, Vandenberg says, the original Pelican took me over two years to create and is now on display at the visitor center at the brewery in Abita Springs. It has about 1800 caps in it. He put out a set of Star Wars themed mosaics for the release of The Force Awakens. These include BB-8 and my personal favorite, a Stormtrooper. He also has Chewbacca in the works. Check out this 3D rose he did. Or this Big Mouth Bass. He said someone tried to commission me to make them a set of armor and a helmet out of caps. I could do that, but I much prefer the 2D stuff. It's an option though moving forward. One thing about me is I have very bad OCD and with these 2D mosaics I can finish a piece, think that it's almost perfect when it comes to depth and symmetry. 3D artwork is much less forgiving, it also takes longer to create and do right. The Rose was a very time consuming piece for me. I definitely understand the OCD part. Believe it or not, this rose took him about 10 to 12 hours to finish, a pretty long time for the fairly small piece. Unlike other bottle cap art, you'll notice that pelican cap works are overlapped as opposed to just being laid out. For Vandenberg, it's all part of what makes his design unique and fluid. Different. He says, the thing I love is when people go up to one of my pieces at the brewery and touch it. They run their fingers on the caps. Flattening and overlapping them creates texture and depth. Ian Vandenberg loves his Louisiana creatures, including the pelican, the alligator, the crawfish, all seen at the Abita Brewery, and especially the duck, the original being brought by an area lawyer. Get this, he even designed for the band Shine Down, one of his favorites. His wife knows some of the band members, and the drummer is a huge fan of New Orleans beer, especially Abita, and she asked him to design a piece. 
the rest is history. Ian Vandenberg does a lot of charity donations for auctions and fundraisers. So what's next? You can see Pelican Capworks at Marlins all the way in Chicago. Or you can check him out at the Baton Rouge River Center on February 18th for America on Tap, where his proceeds will go to area flood victims. You may even see him at the Jazz Fest in the near future. Want one of your own? Email him at pelicancapworks at yahoo.com or you can message him on Facebook and Instagram as he replies to all of his messages. Again, check him out in person at America on Tap, Saturday, February 18th at the Baton Rouge River Center. The proceeds of this piece will benefit local flood victims. Amazing Louisiana art from an amazing person. He's Ian Vandenberg of Pelican Capworks. This is My Scene TV. Ian Vandenberg is definitely a man about the community and you really should go check out his artwork. You can see him right here in Baton Rouge at America on Tap in February of next year and a portion of his proceeds from his piece will go to local flood relief. Ian Vandenberg, Pelican Capital. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. But next, Macarons! Tradici Bakery. This is My Scene TV. I think there's a fork and spoon behind me. I think that means we have a food segment. You know, macarons have become sort of the it pastry of late, possibly surpassing cupcakes as the go-to treat for more luxurious occasions. But you'll learn how these colorful confections have made their way to the capital area by way of Chidichi Bakery in this food segment. I'm Monica Shaughnessy. I'm owner and pastry chef at Tradici Bakery. And I'm Erin Laley, a pastry chef at Tradici Bakery. Tradici Bakery is a small bakery. Um, we make everything from scratch here and we are best friends. We went to school together. Um, we're always coming up with new ideas, creating um, whatever we can think of and trying it out. And we love our jobs. I've always wanted to own my own business. I have business in my family. Um, my family owns Calendar Supermarket. So I started working there in the bakery when I was 15. And it's always just been a dream of mine. And so when I met Erin, we kind of discussed opening it together. She's like my backbone in this whole establishment. So um, it's always just been a dream of mine. And it's been in the process of, you know, since I was young and just wanting to do it. Um, we chose the Capitol Heights neighborhood because it's such a great family-friendly location. There's lots of people that walk on the street. Um, it's always kind of been my neighborhood. I mean, I grew up not too far away. Calandra's is right down the street. So I know a lot about this neighborhood. It's always been close and dear to my heart. So I love just the people that live here, and um, it's just a great spot. So everything here is made from scratch. Um, we have different items every day. We have some uh, favorites that we have every day. Scones, cinnamon rolls, uh, French macaroons, um, cookies, cake, and we also do special orders. We come up with new ideas all the time, so we're kind of um, looking for new ideas and people come in and say, can you possibly make this? And we're like, sure, just give us a little bit of time. And we figure it out and we perfect it. Macaroons actually originated in Italy. They were not fully what they are today, but they originated there. Um, and they're called a French macaroon now. So they're kind of like a whipped meringue. Um, and then you fold in powdered sugar and almond flour and then you have to pipe them all out so it's a tedious process and it's you know rather expensive ingredients too so um, you do that you have to let them sit for a while before you can bake them and it's kind of been a process learning how to do it I've perfected it now but it's taken me years to get it down um, and it's just something that you know we love being creative with those as well. We always love coming up with different flavors, th flavors that 
you know, no one's ever heard of will think of some kind of savory food and we'll try and make that into macaroon. It's just kind of been our creative outlet, I guess, to come up with different flavors and we love making the macaroons. So we've been in lots of things. It's Fet Rouge, um, where we donated a thousand items. We just did Breck, um, 5K Race, Baton Rouge Little Theater. We just, we're just trying to get our name out there and um, we like to help and donate whenever we can. So if y'all want to um, get in contact with us, you can um, call us here at the bakery. Our number is 448-5216 or you can always email us and I'm pretty good about emailing you back. Um, if it's not right away, it's usually at the end of the day and it's tradicibakery at gmail.com or you can just stop in. Um, we're always welcome to um, take new orders and then you can talk to us about exactly what you want, show us any pictures, any ideas you may have. So we're, we're happy to do that with you. I'm Monica. And I'm Erin. And this, this is, is My Scene TV. Because we're like twins. <laughs> Now is the moment that I've been waiting exactly six years for. I'm going to try a macaron for the first time. Chocolate chip. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my word. These are no joke. Quite a sophisticated choice in my opinion. You know. Oh my goodness. Definitely gotta check out <laughs> Tradici Bakery and Cafe and get you some of these macarons. They sell like hotcakes over there. Let them carry your next event. <laughs> Coming up next, Steven Marcel. My scene TV downloads. So if you're looking for old school R&B, you're probably thinking that you're not going to get it from the new generation. Or are you? I, Ty Larson, spoke with up and coming R&B act, Stephen Marcel, to learn about his new school, old school, whatever school sound. And this might seem to be Dallas. How y'all doing out there? This is Ty Larson with My Scene TV Dallas. And you know what I am, I'm doing. I'm always trying to give you a quality, expose y'all to, to the good things and the finer things, right? I got my man right here with me. His name's Steven Marcel. This man is one of the rising, rising stars out here in R&B. If you haven't, you know, want to see some of that old school but mixed with the new school, how they used to do love songs back in the day, this yeah. man's going to bring it to you. But see, don't let, don't care for me. Yeah. I don't want you to just hear from me. <laughs> Let's talk to this man right here. Yeah. Steven, <laughs> tell my people a little bit of something about yourself. A little bit of something. Wow. Um, like you said, uh, Steven Marcel, uh, you know, just, of course, representing Dallas. This is what I do. Love Dallas. Been here all my life. Uh, just love good music. I mean, you ever had that music to where when you listen to it, you sit back and it just gives you that type of feeling like, you know what, this is my best friend. Like, you know, over the years, you still find yourself listening to that, that type of music. Maybe it's a bass line. Maybe it's the beginning of the music. That's what I love about music. And that's what I want to bring back to the music. To where when you hear it, you remember where you were. You remember what you were doing in life. You remember relationships. You remember bad exes or whatever the case may be. I want to be able to get that music, that nostalgia that be able to just kind of bring it. So that's just kind of what I want to be able to do. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't know. I mean, I really can't say a lot of singers are really doing it. Now you got rappers singing. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So here's a question. What's up? Well, what is it that um, you, you kind of want to portray and reach out to this younger generation out here? Uh, that may not have had those same experiences you have. Well, what is it you kind of portray through your music that you want to give or present to them? Um, one thing that I can say as far as in certain, when, when it comes to music, 
and it's a simple word, is heart. Like, I want to be able to make sure that I bring back that heart. Basically, just to let them know R&B ain't dead. I mean, I've heard that before, R&B is dead. That throws me for a loop. I mean, the only thing that you hear, or you probably hear as far as R&B is a lot of older people, because of course, that's what we know. You know, we know that good music. So I want to be able to bring that back, basically, to the forefront I just want it. I just want it. It's good music. <laughs> Don't you want good music? Don't you want it? <laughs> and, and see, Dallas, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring it to you. Yeah. Now, that, that's something we all want. We need to support this man. Yes. And what he's doing and trying to help him move forward. So to help my people out there, help them help you. Okay. Bring back this good music and okay. make this movement happen. Okay. Okay. How my people going to get out there? How they going to get in touch with you? Get in touch with me. Uh, I'm going to say it like this. Of course, I'm on Facebook. Uh, Stephen Marcel, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Marcel, M-A-R-C-E-L. So if you look me up on that. Um, now, right here, you know this Ty Larson, and I'm coming to bring you what's happening here in Dallas. You've got the information. This is one of these young brothers that's actually doing the right thing. Yeah. So let's do our part and make sure he blows up. You know, he'd be up there with Maxwell and all the rest of us. It's us, we gotta do that. All right, it's me, Ty Larson, bringing to you one more again. Ty Larson, my scene TV doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely keeping it classy, keeping it old school. To learn more about Steven Marcel, check him out on Facebook and on SoundCloud. Coming up next, more music right here in Baton Rouge at the Bar City with Lily Lewis and the Lily Lewis Project. This is my scene TV. English, French, Spanish, whatever language it takes, Lily Lewis is going to use it. And we're going to learn more about who exactly the Lily Lewis Project is as we spoke with her at the varsity in this next segment. Is everybody having a good time? Yo, what up, my scene fans? It's Godfrey Johnson, the true founder of Game Hop, and we're here at the Varsity today with Lily Lewis and Henry Turner Jr. How y'all doing today? Doing just fine. How about yourself? Doing great. We are awesome. Awesome. That's great. So please tell our fans, what is the Lily Lewis Project? The Lily Lewis Project is a woman on fire, essentially. This, I, you know, I just decided I want to tell my stories my way, and I made a project out of it. So I go all over the place. I sing folk, I sing rock, I sing jazz, I sing blues, I sing whatever language it takes to tell the story I'm trying to tell. That's the Little Lewis Project. Awesome, very awesome. cool, awesome. So tell us, what is your musical inspiration? You know, they come from all over the place. I actually have a classical background. That's what I grew up on. That's you know, my first language and my love. And you know, so I get inspired by a lot of the musicians who kind of took on that and then made it their own. Of course, like Nina falls into that category and James Booker falls into that category. Very cool. Fan of, fan of Jimi Hendrix, Prince. You know it. You know it. Come on now. You know. So, Lily, tell us what new albums you're working on. Anything coming out right now? Yes, actually today, this whole show is a celebration of my new EP that just came out. This is Orange Music Volume 2. So, these I'm doing a series of little art projects. Orange music that's capturing the voice and the vision of the lot. So, the first one was Water and Light. It's stuff we all need in the world, right? This one is Anatomy, and it's about what goes on in, underneath. It's kind of about, like, the pain, um, like, and how I deal with my pain. So, it starts, like, you know, kind of sad and introspective and then it goes into defiance and then it goes into you know like self-acceptance and all that kind of stuff so that's the journey of volume two and then volume three which will probably come out in December that's the plan at least um, that's all about like the walk that we're actually living like what is it like to inhabit this body in this form being like you know a black queer woman you know in the south yada 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 all the stuff that that I interface with there but then also you know like the gun violence that's going on all that stuff shows up in volume three so it's just like the first one is about
about what can we do what's possible the second one is about what are we made of and the third one is about okay what is what is the walk that we're walking so so it's like all of the things just extracting them out little by little so you can see what they really are and then you put it back together and see what this what this project what this hodgepodge is this medley of awesome music that is very cool that is very cool so please tell our fans where can we find your music well i'm at lillylewis.com L-I-L-L-I, and I know my mama spelled it funny, so I made it easier. You can find me at folkrockdiva.com, right? That's all things, you know, all my music is up there, all the shows are up there. You can read a little bit about me, what we're up to, you know, what we're into. It's folkrockdiva.com. And I'm on Instagram and Twitter at folkrockdiva, you know, look me up there as well. All right, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, with Miss Lily Lewis and Henry Turner Jr. I'm Godric Johnson with My Scene TV. We're out. Thank you. All of the greatest R&B acts of all time is blended into one. The Lily Lewis Project. Definitely want to check out her brand new EP, Orange Music. And I think we're going to close out with a set from her. Or we may have something else up our sleeves. I don't know, we'll figure that out in a few minutes more later. Now it's time to grab your phones, grab your MacBooks, grab your TVs because it is social media time. That's why right. we got MyScenetv.com, our social media hub on Facebook, full episodes and these entire segments on YouTube, video clips and pictures in and around the Baton Rouge area on Instagram, and we also have a Twitter and a MySpace going on somewhere like the good old days. And programming reminder. We come on WBXH Channel 16 every Saturday at 4.30 p.m. It's Cox and E-Tail Channel 16, Channel 39 on Newverse, Dish Network, and Antenna. And after all that I've just said, and I dare you to try to make me repeat it, we don't come on direct TV. He's Javon H. signing off for another great episode of My Scene TV.